Hi, I'm Steve the Long Ash Cowboy and I've been away for a while. Some of you probably wondered why. Some of you probably were glad I was gone. The real reason why was I was waiting for spring and spring is here. And we've got a lot of ground to cover and I mean a lot of ground to cover. Currently enjoying a Perdomo 20th Anniversary Connecticut, which has a great creamy flavor to it. Once you get into it, about an inch in, if you can imagine coffee with a whole lot of cream and no sweetener at all, kind of like a an unsweetened latte, that's what you're going to get. It's a great finish. Once it gets to the label, it's going to tighten up and it's going to be a little stronger. So it's like two cigars in one. Also enjoying a Dr. Pepper because contrary to what some may tell you, not only does it taste great, but it's a great cleanser on the palate. And like I said, we have a lot of ground to make up. On December the 16th, 2019, since I realized that I was going to skip my third presidential general election in a row, I made the bold move of going to my county voter registrar's office and having my name removed from the voter list altogether. And she looked at me kind of strangely and she said, are you sure you want to do that? And I said, absolutely. Because I, as I told you in 2019, this election does not matter. We have been in peril for 11 years and we've got five to go, minimum, no matter who wins. Trump, Biden, Bernie, Tulsi, or Billy Weld, all five of them have turned from our Lord, which brings us to the topic of today's conversation. Before I go any farther, there are two things you need to hear. They come from the revised standard version of the Holy Scripture. The first thing I'm going to read to you is Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Because Hosea 4 6 has been in effect for a long, long time, and it still is today. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Think about the peril that our world, not just our nation, not just the United States, because you may be somewhere else other than the United States. Think about how things are where you are. This corona chaos, the other things, the crime where it is where you are. The chaos, the anger, the hatred. Think about why all that's occurring. Because so many people in this world, and I can state definitely in the United States, so many people have turned from the Lord and gone down a different path. Well, you remember what that says, that God has turned his back on us. There is one 
and only one remedy for it. And that's found in the second book of Chronicles in the seventh chapter and the fourteenth verse. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. And right now, our land, whether it's the United States or anywhere else in the world, needs healing. Let's look where we at where we were when I signed off and where we are now. We were a land of people backbiting each other. The Trumpies against all the Democrats. Don't forget what I told you. Trump is a Democrat. He was and he always will be. He's continued to utter those gutter profanities from behind the podium of the seal of the United States. He continues to not put out a message of love and we continue to have this unrest. This Corona thing some people blow it off and say it's not that big a deal, but look around the world. Look at the map. It's there. Yes, during the Obama administration, we had a flu that killed many. This corona thing, it's because of a lack of faith in our Lord that our economy is going down the tubes. It's not because the Democrats are trying to tank it. It's because God is letting it happen. As long as you continue to not wait for your wedding night, you continue to swill those bottles, drop those profanities in anger, in humor, or whatever else. We are a nation and a world in peril. The election of 2020 does not matter. I named five names who are still officially in the race, and none of them measure up. None of them. All the Democrats say Trump is the problem. All the Trumpies say the Democrats are the problem. And I'm here to tell you, all of you are the problem. If we don't have the guts to fall to our knees and repent, God is going to continue to let this malaise and this chaos continue. I'm not even going to address global warming today. That'll be for later. Was I a Republican? Yes. Would I be one if I was going to vote? If there was a reason to vote Republican? Yes. But there's not. We are a nation in peril. And we've got to come to grips with the fact that we've turned from the Lord. And before you scoff and say, it's not us, it's them. I'm going to say, listen to what you just said. Each side says to the other, or says to me, it's not us, it's them. But if I can point and say, it's you together as one group, not two group, one group, because you refuse to come to your need, not come to the center, come to your knees and say we need a fundamental change all of this socialism business that that's what we need 
It's a lot of those people who call Republicans Nazis, but consider this. Adolf Hitler was a Nazi. We all can agree on that. YouTube, I think you can too. But consider this. He was a member of the National Socialist Party. So view this as quickly as you can and consider this before this probably gets taken down. Consider this. In Germany in the 30s, it was all about gun control, government schools, and government health care. And that's what the emphasis of the socialists today, that is what their agenda is. Gun control, government health care, and government schools. Look at this pre-K. They're trying to get little lands in at three years old. So they can start telling them that government will protect them. Well, it ain't happening. Second Chronicles 7.14 When we humble ourselves and we pray, then, then God will heal our land. All of that economic prosperity, did you see the NASDAQ today? Did you see the stock market? The worst in how many years? A drop of 10%? It's time, ladies and gentlemen, time to turn from our wicked ways that includes me because I'm a sinner I falter I admit that I falter but I also have the guts to admit that I falter and that I need to repent all the time but I have the intestinal fortitude and the faith to repent others don't they go around saying, this is how I was born. God will look the other way. Well, he is looking the other way because remember the words of Hosea 4, 6. He's looking the other way completely. We have this corona thing. We have all these other illnesses. And now all of that economic prosperity is seemingly gone. If you appreciate what you've heard today, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button. After, after you do that, remember to hit the bell. Go ahead and hit the dislike button because that keeps me alive too. I don't care because I know about religious persecution from Republicans, left-wing conservatives, and left-wing liberals alike. But the one thing you cannot deny is I do love you or I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't care. I was away for a while, yes. I had something to do with the weather. Well, the weather's cleared up and it's springtime in Alabama now. Oh, Alabama is one of five states in these United States that still hasn't recorded a corona yet. You think about that, and until then, remember, sticks up.